And as the name says, we're imaging from above the sternum. So we'll be imaging from right here, looking down towards the aorta. Why are we imaging the aorta from here? Well, I have to show you if I take away his lungs. So from up here, we'll be seeing the aorta. And we'll want to see how the flow is actually in the descending part of it and in the aortic arch. Yes, the transducer, you have to remember, has to stay parallel to the vessel and the marker will point up. So this is about the orientation you have because remember the ascending aorta goes to the right and then it curves down and caudally to the left. So this is about the orientation you have to have. And if you look at the image that you get on your screen, you will get this. Yes, and actually this is a really nice example of um, super sternal view. We see part of the ascending aorta going into the arch with the branches departing and the descending aorta. So the round structure in the middle is the right pulmonary artery. And when we move to color Doppler, we can see that we have an accelerating flow during systole, which is what the blood which goes antegrade. And what you have to focus on is the red flow which goes back into the arch because this is the regurgitant jet. So it reflects also in the descending aorta. Yes, and if you look at the pulsations of the aorta, they are very vigorous, which means that the aortic regurgitation is probably severe. This is an indirect sign. Now, if you put the post wave Doppler somewhere right here, you will get a spectrum that looks like this. And again, consider diastole. So you see the most of this reversal flow happens during the early diastolic period, but stays high. Well, Anna, I think we have to stop here because we're going into too many details, details that we actually want to show you in the masterclass. For you at this point, all you need to know is that probably the most important factor in quantifying your regurgitation is still the color Doppler, looking at it from a transthoracic approach and your imaging qualities. Why? Because take a look at this example here. Does this patient have aortic regurgitation? Well, maybe a little bit. And see what happens if we move the transducer just slightly, a little bit to the right. And all of a sudden, this turns into this. So here, clearly, you can see aortic regurgitation. So at this point, I think it's very important that you learn how to image and that you practice as much as possible. Mm -hmm.